everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I'm here for another Sew Along Sunday and today is part three of the uh, Butterick 6358 swimsuit that we've been working on. Um, before we delve into today's video, I totally did one of the steps backwards. <laughs> so there is a little um, interior bra kind of like cup support with some elastic and stuff, which is a fantastic feature on the pattern um, that gets sewn into the inside of the lining and the idea is that it's up against the body. I totally sewed it to the wrong side of the lining instead of the right side of the lining, so it's in between, mine is in between the outer layer and the inside of the lining, which is not correct. So <laughs> when, and I do make a note on that um, in, in the steps as I, I wrote it in when I realized what I had done, um, but anyway, you want yours to be on the right side of the lining so that it's actually against your body um, when you are wearing the suit. Not a huge difference, but it does help that elastic to cup the breast as opposed to being sandwiched between the two layers because then it can't cup as well. Um, so anyway, I did want to point that out um, before we get started here, and I apologize. Um, I do need to get better at... <laughs> I mean, a lot of my sew alongs, I'm literally sewing it through the first time with you guys. Um, so uh, anyway, probably need to get better at um, looking ahead before uh, doing that. So I apologize. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. As always, leave any questions you have down below. If you did find this helpful and you would like to help support the channel, I do have a coffee account and it's uh, there's a link for it down below where you can just leave some money in a tip jar. Um, yeah, then it all goes right back into the channel. Okay, I hope you guys have a fabulous Sunday and I will see you again next week with the wrap up and the finishing of the swimsuit. And also I will be showing you how to um, stick an old bra in there to give you some added support if that's something you'd like to do. All right, that's all I have for today, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, so I made a boo-boo. <laughs> I don't want you guys to make the same boo-boo. Um, with your lining, you should have the front completely sewn up, just like we did with the regular suit, and your back, but don't attach them yet. Um, I accidentally did attach them at the side seams and the crotch, and it is too early to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna leave them attached at the crotch because that's fine. So I'm just going to need to remember that I've already shaved off my seam allowance, so I'm going to have to sew that just at a regular quarter inch, um, so don't do what I did. Um, so anyway, we have our lining front complete and our lining back complete. Um, yours should not be connected at the crotch yet, but that's fine if they are, <laughs> but we just need those side seams open. All right, so our next step, um, this is when I totally got ahead of myself and wasn't looking closely. Also, I was sewing while hungry and uh, was waiting for that step to be over so I could go grab lunch and then that's what happens. Okay. <laughs> All right, so now we have our, um, let's see, what are they called? Oh, sorry. The, um, let's see, piece 20 and piece 19, which are the cups here for kind of the built-in bra. Now, the instructions have you finishing off the edges so that you can insert uh, bra cups. I'm not going to put bra cups in mine. That just adds too much bulk at my boobs, and I just don't like that. But you can go ahead and follow the instructions. It's basically just sewing um, in the side. Um, I think it's on this piece. Did I not cut? Really notches. Okay. Yeah, there's dots on this side um, of the side cup that you are stitching and then you can fold it in and finish it off. I'm not going to do that uh, because I don't want the removable bra cups, but you can definitely follow those instructions if you would like. So what I'm going to do, um, you should have two, and I've cut these out of the power mesh. So I have two of the centerpiece and two of the cups. Uh, so I want to make sure, because this is obviously the same on front and back, that I'm making two uh, mirror images. So I'm going to sew the notched sides together. And it might help to get your pieces just to make sure you're sewing it correctly. And there's just one notch. So I want it... Okay, so that sometimes helps just to lay your pattern piece out 
Um, okay, so I am sewing these right side together. Here, I'll move you in front of me so you can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit better here. All right, so I've got one half of the cups. So I, you just want to make sure that this piece here, it's kind of confusing if it's right side, upside down or not. Um, but your notches, you know, you do want them to match. So there's the notch there, and there's the notch there. So I'm going to just line those up. And then obviously I will be um, making those fit because that is the curved cup uh, for the bust. Uh, let's see, what else? I think... Yes, this seam here that we're going to sew next is 5 eighths of an inch because it doesn't say otherwise. So I am just going to set you up and we're going to sew each side. Um, so if that helps for you to go ahead and lie them, lay them out just to make sure that you are sewing mirror images, you could definitely do that. Okay, so I'm just going to sew both of these um, seams, which are the cup seams. So I will um, set you up here in front of me, and we are going to sew both of those up really quickly. Okay. All right, so I have this all, these two cut pieces together. Petals not wanting to reach. <laughs> and I'm just going to match those notches up when I get to them. But I basically just want that raw edge to match up on both pieces. And we can cut our threads like normal. All right, so here we have our cup. And this will go um, center front here, and then there's the side. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that for the other one really quick and then we will um, go from there. Okay, I wanna show you the end game before I show you how to do this next part. So here's my bra cup basically stitched into the uh, front and side of the lining piece. So we're working on the lining piece, not the um, front. Now, it has been stitched and then folded over itself and then basted in the seam allowance, obviously. My seams, my seams should match here at the side, but I'd already trimmed this off because I accidentally, I had done pick um, and my serger had already trimmed. So everything's fine now. Um, but yeah, you're, you should match at the side seams and up here at the top, and then this should no longer have a raw edge. Um, and this should be free here, okay? So I'm gonna show you now. So that's what it's gonna look like. That's what we're going for. And I will sew the other side in with you guys. So here's our front piece here. And we have this placement line that's here. Um, and it goes down to the dot that we um, stitched when we stitched the center front. I have just, when this was on top of my um, pattern, or the actual fabric, instead of marking the actual line, I obviously marked my dot. And then I just clipped into the fabric up here at the top of this line so that I had a good base. So that is how I marked that on my fabric. Now we're going to get that off. So now we are working with the other side, which is right here. Okay, so obviously, let's see, I've got my dot that is here, and then I have my dot that is here, and we want to match those up. We're going to sew these uh, right side to wrong side, basically. So you're gonna be flipping it like this, and I'm just going to pin my dots together Um, I can't do this while holding this camera, but I will be pinning my dots together. <laughs> and then the top part of this horizontal line, um, let's see. Oh, I haven't marked the notch. Hold on. Let me go hands-free and then I'll show you. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I, I'm doing this. Okay, so we've got the one side that is already finished here. Obviously, there's its tie, yada, yada, yada. Okay, I'm just going to push that out of the way. So now we're working with the other side. So I've marked the uh, top of the placement line with a notch there, if you can see that. And then I've got my dot that's here. So when it's finished, you'll it'll be you know like this, 
But first, we are going to sew this in. So I'm going to take a pen, and that is the dot there that I've marked on the pattern piece, and I'm just going to mark that at the dot on the swimsuit. And again, we're working on the lining. I'm just trying to make sure that the other side is out of the way. Easier said than done. All right, and now the top of this. So I'm not lining the top of this up to the notch. So the notch is the placement line, and technically you want this line to be um, 5 eighths of an inch over. So you want to be stitching along the placement line that they've got. So you can definitely measure. I'm eyeballing. But um, there's my notch there. So I'm overlapping that by 5 eighths of an inch. And then I'm pinning. So now when that is pulled nice and taut, um, that basically is right over my um, placement line that's on that pattern piece. So now I'm gonna go to the sewing machine. That all lying nice and flat. Um, and you can obviously pin this all the way down if you want. But I'm going to go to the sewing machine, and I'm going to sew from the very top with that stretch stitch that we used earlier. From the very top, and I'm going to stitch down to the... Um, repin that a little. Down to the notch, and I'm going to stop at the notch. So I will stop, and so this area will be, you know, free still. So I'm, start, I'm going to start here at the top, 5 eighths of an inch in from this cut edge, and stitch all the way down to the notch and then stop at the notch. And I'll take you guys along with me. And again, this piece here is right sides down to the wrong side of um, the front of the suit. So let's go to the machine and stitch that real quick. All right, so I've got it under the presser foot. I'm just wanting everything to lie nice and flat. I'm actually going to go ahead and anchor that so that I don't lose anything. Okay, now I'm just going to stitch 5 eighths of an inch uh, from this cut edge. Move that out of the way. Oops, hold on. You also want to check and make sure you're on the right stitch because I had that set for basting. <laughs> And remember, we want our cut edge um, 5 eighths of an inch from that notch. With a stretch stitch, not a basting stitch. There we go. Now, when you get down here, you really want to make sure you're not catching any of this other side um, in the stitching. Okay. And then I stopped right at that dot, so I'm not sewing all the way down. All right, so now we have this stitch. So then when we fold this over, so now we have wrong sides together. Your uh, seams should match. Your side seams over here should match, unless you've already trimmed yours, then they won't. <laughs> but definitely your um, cup seams should match. And you want to push them opposite directions. It doesn't really matter which ones go which way, but push them opposite directions so that those nest really nicely in there together. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to baste 
this um, at about a quarter of an inch because I want it inside the seam allowance, but just with a straight stitch, I'm just gonna baste this um, across the top and then uh, down the side. So then it will look like that. That is not a quarter of an inch. That is more than a quarter of an inch, but it's a quarter of an inch from there. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to do that, and then we will come back and look at what we got. Okay, next we are going to um, zoom out a little bit. Okay, <laughs> we're going to sew our three-quarter inch of elastic to the bottom of these stay cups that we just did. So if you're looking at the suit like so, there's our stay cups or our bra cups basically. Um, so we're gonna flip it upside down. So there's the top of the suit because there's the ties. So we're gonna turn it upside down and we are just working with the power mesh pieces actually, not, um, not any of the lining. And actually I probably should have stopped short on the basting. That's the beauty of basting stitches. They just pop out real easily. Okay, so we are going to sew the elastic to this bottom edge. Now, okay, so what? we're looking at the right side here. And of course we did not sew these little tails here. What you're gonna do is just overlap these a little bit because we do, you know, we want those to kind of act as one. So I'm actually just going to pin center front there. Like so. So now we should have one long bottom edge. This is right underneath the cup. Let me release a few of those basting stitches there too. So there we have that, okay. We've got our piece of elastic and I cut it according to the elastic chart and I'm going to fold that in half so that I know, stick a pin right there in the center point. So I know that this needs to match up with center front there. Just makes it easier because we're gonna stretch this to make it um, fit. And the way I'm going to do this, I'm trying to think how I wanna do this. I really just want this lining covering the back of the elastic, the width of the zigzag I'm gonna use, really. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of arbitrarily, I just wanna, I'm gonna pin it just so I'm marking centers so my centers match. And I want all the layers. I'm doing this through the viewfinder. <laughs> There we go. All right, so I'm going to flip this again so that the right side of that cut piece is um, gonna be facing up. Okay, I want, okay, I want my um, lining here to overlap my elastic basically the swing of the zigzag. I'm going to set my zigzag stitch, um, a three-step zigzag, or multiple zigzag, whatever it's called, and I'm going to adjust that to <clears throat> a four-width and a three-length, which is also the same that I like to do for my fold-over elastic. It's just my favorite with zigzag. So we are just arbitrarily overlapping the raw edge of this over the elastic. Um, and I think, you line up. I'm actually gonna pull my um, elastic in. I'm not gonna match it up exactly to the raw edge there of the seam, because that's gonna get all chopped off. I'm really <laughs> lining it up with the edge, because I want it caught in the seam, 
but I just, my blade doesn't like cutting elastic. So I'm just gonna back it up three eighths of an inch because that's gonna get cut off by the machine anyway. And I'm going to anchor my needle there. And now you can see we've got a lot of um, excess. So we're gonna stretch the elastic to fit, but we wanna get it started first. So we want this, and I can see through this power mesh as well onto this elastic. So I really wanna overlap it by like three eighths of an inch um, tops. So I'm going to, okay, do that. And I also want my needle down just cause that makes everything more stable. And now I'm just going to stretch. And you can pull from the back if you need to as well, which if my, I'm gonna have to adjust the camera here cause my arms aren't long enough. <laughs> so this doesn't have to be perfect. You just wanna make sure you get things anchored in. Go slow if you need to. See, that's wanting to pull up. It does help though with this to pull from the back. See, that's coming up more than um, three eighths of an inch, but that's fine. Okay, now when you get here to your overlap, you really want things lying nice and flat. And you should not be sewing any of the lining here, or the lining of the suit. It should all be just that uh, power mesh or whatever fabric you're using for that stay. So you just wanna make sure you're not, this is really hard to do with a camera in your lap. Little fiddly. Get under there. when having a fourth hand would be really handy. that to be in the seam allowance. Oh, it's one to pull back on me. Okay, so that can be a little tricky. So on the right side, it's going to look like that. Just the elastic because this is going to get caught into this side seam here um, when it gets sewn. So this will act as like a bust support, basically this elastic here. So there, you should have everything should be nice and pretty close. Obviously that's not perfect. You can tell, but that's okay. It is going to work out just fine. All right. So there you have that. Okay, now we're back to the, the serger again because now we get to sew our side seams up. So this is just get your, your back should be finished of lining. We're still working with the lining and we're going to sew our um, side seams and our crotch seam just like we did um, the front. And it's five-eighths of an inch. Obviously, I made the boo-boo of 
<laughs> sewing this and then having to cut it open. So I'll just be doing mine at a quarter of an inch, but you want yours to be at five eighths. So I'm going to be sewing with my back or er, yes, my back up so that I can see um, what I'm doing here. So yeah, you want to sew at five eighths of an inch. I'm clearly not doing that because I've already trimmed my seam allowance accidentally. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay. So we should be catching, um, they're sewing the back, obviously right sides together, to the lining, back lining to the front lining, and we should be catching those um, that elastic in the seam as well as your um, power mesh or whatever you've used for those stay cups. Again, I am clipping that clipping both my ends because they will get caught in so see that elastic I may go over that again just to catch a little bit more of that elastic just through there because um, I want that to be nice and secure um, but I'm gonna go now go do the other side seam and then do the crotch seam the same way we did the crotch seam on the um, main body of the suit so I'm gonna do that and then we'll come back Okay, so this is what we should have. Um, I also made another boo-boo. <laughs> I like to keep it real here on the channel. So um, these, this is the lining right here. And this is the wrong side of the lining, obviously facing up. And I've sewn these stay bras onto the wrong side. I should have sewn those onto the right side of the lining. They should have been sewn on the other side. So now, I mean, it's not the end of the world. So this whole piece will be inside the suit in between the two layers of the suit where technically these should have been just on the inside of the suit so that this could cup under the breast a little better. Um, that's just not going to be the case with this version. Um, I will note that, though, before in the intro before this one so that you don't do the same thing I do. Or if you do, not the end of the world. Anyway, so we have that. We have our back, and it's all attached at the crotch and at the side seams, and we have the same for the front of the suit. It's also all attached. So now we're going to attach the lining and the uh, main suit together. And we're going to start by doing that at the ties. So we are going to sew, well, hold on. Let me put them together real quick. Okay, I now have my uh, the main body of my suit right sides together inside the lining. So this is, um, is that right? Yes. Well, I don't have it inside of it. Now it's inside of it. <laughs> the backs weren't inside. Okay, yes. Okay, so I've got, you know, here's my lining, um, obviously wrong side out, and then my lining, or my main body of my fabric, uh, or the main swimsuit body is um, right side up, but is inside of that. And we're going to be working here on the ties. So my ties are right sides together right now. And what we're going to do, there's actually a notch on the pattern. Um, let me find it. So if you're looking at the pattern, it's this triangle that's right here. You may want to mark that. I mean, that's five-eighths of an inch. Well, I'll measure it, make sure. <laughs> but you do want to mark that because you do need to know that dot or that marking because we're going to start at that marking and we're going to sew all the way around the tie um, and then down and we're going to stop right at that uh, notch. So I'll pin everything together. Um, you want to make sure that the other side here is out of the way um, so that we're connecting those really nice and neat. Um, and I'll take you with me to the sewing machine when I do that. But we're sewing at three-eighths of an inch. We just want to make sure that we are starting at that notch. And I will go ahead and I'll mark that. Um, then we're going to sew all the way around three-eighths of an inch all the way down to our dot here on both sides. Um, 
and then we will go from there. So I will take you over to the sewing machine. I'm gonna be using that stretch stitch again just to do that on both sides of the tie. All right, so I've got everything nice and pinned. I've pinned my tips or my points of my ties. And then I went ahead and marked that triangle that I showed you. So now using my stretch stitch again, pull that a little closer to me, sorry. <laughs> It's like gymnastics. Okay, I'm sewing at 3 eighths of an inch. I'm just going to lower my needle right there at that dot. And I'm going to sew 3 eighths of an inch all the way from this dot to the point. Point, just keep your needle down, pivot. Okay, now when we get close to this center point here, you wanna push your seam allowances out of the way, and you do have that elastic that, um, you know, that's un that under bust. But I'm basically wanting to sew and attach it. My I'm off my dot a little bit, but I do wanna sew, make sure my ends are up, and I wanna attach it to that seam line where I sewed the center front. is really hard to do with this in my lap. And you also want to make sure that the other side is out of the way. And that all of your seam allowances, you want to try not to catch those as best as you can, which can be difficult. All right, let's see how we did on that side. This is where it can get really kind of difficult because you've got things that are pressed open and you're trying to connect your seam allowances. I think we're going to be okay, though, once we've connected it on this side. So I'm going to let that go. So now I'm going to push my seam allowances as best as I can away from the other side. Get it all wedged under there starting where I stopped there at the center front. I just want everything. I will admit this is a finicky, tricky sewing. <laughs> Oops, and we're sliding away here. This will happen. That's why we have the walking foot on.
All right. All right. So now that we have our ties sewn, put my threads. Okay, now that we have our ties sewn, what we want to do is we want to um, cut into the seam allowance from the top to the notch on either side. And then we're going to turn our ties right side out. So let's go do that. Okay, so on each side I have clipped, oh, I can't see it that way, <laughs> from the stitching line to the um, dot. You'll notice I accidentally had it on my three-step step zigzag, which is okay, but I would rather have it on the, I changed it here to the stretch stitch, which is what I'd rather have it at. So see, I'm making mistakes um, left and right here. I'm going to blame it on the fact that I've had to cut sugar out of my diet and my brain is not uh, acclimated to that yet. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut the tips of my little ties here. Just cut those off to reduce the bulk. And now we're going to turn our ties right side out. And then our other one. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Right there at that center can get very finicky. Really though, if you have a teeny tiny little hole there, which I kind of do, um, that's okay. That's more preferable, I, I feel, than getting things all caught up and it looking funky. Because remember, when this is all said and done, um, this is gonna be tied you know, however you want to tie it across the front. So, you know, you're not really even gonna ever see any of that. So keep that in mind. Okay, so we've got our opening here. Now, here's our lining. You should be able to see those cups that we sewed in. Um, I can feel the elastic in there. Mine are on the inside, which might not be a horrible thing. <laughs> we will see. But now we wanna turn our swimsuits um, so that our layers are wrong sides together. And basically at this point, it wants you to baste your layers together because now we're gonna add the elastic. This is where things get exciting, folks. Um, and I think, Okay, so it wants, it wants you us to baste. So here where we um, clipped, you know, it comes up. We have a raw edge, and we will have a raw edge even after we flip that over, but things will get zigzagged down, so I don't know. It's not the my favorite finish, but I think it'll be okay. All right, so what we're gonna do, you can do two this two different ways. We're basically basting these together, wrong sides together, all the way around the swimsuit now. I'm going to surge mine because I'm going to install my elastic with a three-step zigzag. Um, so I would like the surged, I just like the way that looks, especially once it gets turned in on itself uh, with the elastic to have the surged area, even though we've also done the three-step zigzag. So I'm actually going to surge mine. I'm not going to cut any of the seam allowance off, though. I'm literally just running it through the serger without being very careful to trim just, you know, maybe little threads. Um, that's it. I don't want to trim any of that seam allowance off. But we're going to trim the whole back till it gets to this point that we've clipped in. Obviously not going to baste your ties. You've already finished. And then on this side, we'll do the same thing. We'll start there. Um, again, these are wrong sides together. And we will sew those. And then we will sew the whole back here with the lining and suit together. And then we will do the same at the legs. So just make sure your seams are all matched up, you know, that your crotch seam and stuff. I would suggest nesting your seams, which means, you know, one goes to the front, one goes to the back. That just helps to reduce bulk. Um, that's just kind of my suggestion. 
Uh, but I'm going to go do this at the serger. Your other option is just to regularly baste it. So if you don't have a serger, you could just use a long basting stitch to baste these layers together. Um, those can pop and come out later if you want. So it's not that big of a deal. Um, but you do, it's so much easier to put the elastic in if you've basted your two layers together. Um, it just makes it so, 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 so much easier. So I'm just going to go do that real quick, and then I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, so before we put elastic in, I just want to show you, um, so I have surged everything together, so wrong sides together. Um, I've left long tails, so I've also surged the ends. These are the straps of the back that go around that are going to have um, be on a swimsuit clasp eventually. And I'm going to show you I left the tails long there, and I left the tails long here at the front by the ties, and I'm going to show you how I like to um, tuck those in. Um, just on both sides, obviously. Everything else I cut off, including um, sewing the leg in the round. I just sewed over, um, yeah, sewed over the previous stitching and then clipped it because that's going to get sewn twice with a zigzag stitch to put the elastic in and then again to top stitch it down. So that'll be fine. But for these areas, I like to use, this is just a darning needle, a uh, tapestry needle. Um, they're kind of blunt. I mean, they're sharp, but they're blunter than a regular needle. Nice and big. And this is what I use to tuck in my ends um, when I'm surging on occasion. And how I do that is that you want to get it and kind of pull it to make it skinny. Wrap it around the eye of the needle. Pinch that fold. Then I slide it, the, need the eye of the needle over that and then pull it through. So now that's threaded. And then I'm just gonna go back and tuck that in, you know, about an inch, three quarters of an inch to an inch. To where it's like so. And then I cut it off. So that just makes a nice little, a better, um, a little bit neater end here where you finish surging because that's going to be zigzagged and then folded under and then top stitched but I don't want that to be too messy there on the inside so there you go okay when we come back we will do um, elastics and then finish everything off